All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders, a great millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying and believing in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabari Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another uh, lesson. And this lesson is going to be on a uh, a dream or a slash dream slash vision that I had um, this morning. Okay, and um, I discussed the vision with uh, the priest uh, Zakar from the main camp. <clears throat> we spoke about it over the phone. And uh, when I described to him what the demons look like, okay, uh, uh, he sent me this picture and they look exactly like this. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, I don't put a lot of stock in dreams because I understand that like like the scripture says that dreams can well from paraphrasing dreams could sometimes mislead you but also too Yahweh uh, uh, Shai um, seals our instructions in our sleep too you know and sometimes you can have dreams you know and sometimes you're going to have visions as the scripture says real quick this is uh, I'll go back to this Luke this is uh, uh, Joel Joel Chapter 2, verse 21. And it says, uh, it's uh, Joel chapter 2, verse, uh, it's like, yeah. Yep, this is, uh, verse Joel 2 and 28. And it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions, man. And, you know, through the spirit and power of your Bosh and Yahweh Shai, you know, I've had <clears throat> many visions, you know, since my, you know, my small amount of time in the truth. But I've had visions about certain things, man. Some things have come to light in the past, you know, and some have, some have not yet to, to come, come to light. And that's up to the power and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Salakim. <clears throat> Back in, uh, I'm just trying to look for the, the history. Salakim. Time. So this is a, a picture that was sent to me. I discussed my vision or slash dream with uh, the elder priest brother, uh, uh, Zakar for the main camp and we discussed it and when I was describing to him what the demons in my dream looked like it was a spot on uh, de a description of these demons okay so in the vision or the dream um, I was like in a place where like a whole bunch of celebrities was at and it was just like it was weird they were giving out cars and keys they were giving out keys to like brand new cars like it was brand new vehicles and he was just giving them away. And in the dream, it was sunny. I remember it was a sunny day. It was like no clouds in the sky. Um, we were like on the streets. I don't know where at. It seemed like we was in Hawaii. But anyway, in the dream, it was Floyd Mayweather. He was giving out all his cars. He was just giving away his cars. And he was smiling about it. And I was asking him, I was like, yo, why y'all giving away your cars? And he looked at me and his smile and gave me a set of keys. And they were, as they give all these people different keys to cars, they, uh, they were, um, there were trucks delivering the vehicles or whatever. So I hit the key lock and I hit the lock. I could hear the beeping noise on the car or whatever. So I turn to go, uh, I'm outside. It's sunny, it's broad, a beautiful Hawaiian sunny day. And um, I turn to my left and I look and in the middle of the street, a big portal just opened up. Now, you know, uh, their whole CERN situation and, uh, on June 5th, where they supposedly they activated or they were going to activate the CERN mechanism to, you know, try to dig in the dark matter and open up portals to the spirit world, man. So I hadn't been, you know, investigating any of this prior to me going to sleep. I wasn't looking at nothing concerning, nothing like this. I didn't even do a video on it because I wasn't well versed in the understanding of CERN and what it really does. You know, I just heard, you know, brothers speak about it and um, bring up uh, certain articles about it. But for some reason in my dream, 
one open and when the portal opened it was like an orange portal and when the portal opened up it was like a swirl like a number six swirl but backwards and it swirled open so while everybody was all excited about getting these vehicles getting these cars um these demons just opened up out of nowhere like manifested themselves and they were brown and they were they were brown and gray and i remember you could hear them streaking and they had wings and they had horns and like <clears throat> little feet but you could see like as they came out of the portal it, it looked like tails and they were attacking people like physically attacking people and they were grabbing people up and so we started running everybody just started running and it was a woman with me and i had a hand but i guess she tripped and then when she tripped and fell, she just turned into fire. But like a demon, the demons was like trying to overcome me. But it was like they didn't nothing happened to me. But when it happened to old girl, she died. She turned into ashes and fire. And then I'm running. And the whole time I'm running, before I started running, Slaki, before I started running, I turned towards the portal and I started yelling the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I kept saying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai basically trying to rebuke these demons. And I wasn't afraid at first. It was like I just was filled with the spirit to just call on the name of the Lord. And then I turned around and then we just started running. And like I said, the woman, she tripped and fell or something. And uh, when she fell, she turned into like fire and ashes. And I just kept running. And then the demons was trying to overcome me. They were flying over me. And trying to overcome me, but when they flew past you, you could feel, you could actually feel that uh, demonic spirit around it. But it just went through my arm. It just went through my arm, and it couldn't like grab a hold of me. And I just kept saying the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord. And I remember vividly what those creatures looked like, or what those demons looked like, you know. And it was just crazy because it just opened up out of nowhere, you know, in the middle of the street, in the middle of broad daylight. Like this thing happened, you know, and uh, you know when I when I woke up, it stayed with me to the point even now, and then even I could recite exactly what I saw, you know, and like I said, I talked to the elder about it, and he put me on. He's like he showed me this, uh, uh, what's it called? These cards, these Illuminati cards, and it uh, and it looked just like this. It says a plague of demons, and I couldn't. It says. This is an inst instant attack to destroy any place except a huge one. You must spread an action from magic group. The power of the attack is a 10 plus the power of the groups summoning the demons. If the attack succeeds, the target is the target is devastated. If the die roll succeeds, by more than five, the target is completely destroyed. And that's what was happening. Those demons were overcoming people. And they were literally destroyed. They were literally destroyed. And this is in broad daylight. You know? So I have two scriptures. This is uh, Luke chapter. Uh, matter of fact, I'll start at uh, uh, Ephesians. This is Ephesians 6 and 12. It says, I'll start at 11. It says, put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil right because the vast majority of our people out here the two-thirds of our people they're not uh they're not surrounded with the armor of yahweh they don't they don't reverence the name they don't uh fear his uh his his wrath they don't uh they're not uh they're not uh reverencing his word you know and they're not practicing what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has commanded us to do. So when these demons come attacking them, they're going to be filled, possessed, and totally devastated and overcome by them. You know? And that's exactly what was happening in the vision. People were being uh, overrun and overcome by these demons. You know? And that's that's because they lack the armor of, the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, it says, again, uh, I'll start at 10. This is Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because that whole certain thing is the wiles of the devil. Let's look up that word for wiles. Um, 
Uh, Slovakia. Uh, where am I at? Where am I? Oh, Jesus. Six. That word for wiles of the devil. Okay. In the, in the Greek, the word there for wiles in the Greek. <clears throat> is methodia. Meth. Thodia. And it says cunning, arch, deceit, craft, craft, trickery, man. Because that's what the Edomite got this whole world in. You know, his witchcraft, his deception, his great deception that he's putting into the minds of the people that he's going to uh, cause them to worship his, uh, his image, the image of the beast, the MOTB, you know, because these people weren't prepared. Okay, and Yahweh Bashan al Shai is preparing us. Again, uh, Ephesians 6 and 10. Just trying to find my place. Again, again, uh, Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on a whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. And that's what we we're we experiencing. You know, that whole dumb this devil trying to open up a portal that he can't close and trying to release uh these demonic demons that he cannot control, you know, to try to overrun the world as if the righteousness of Yahweh and Shai won't supersede uh the left hand side. And the right arm of Yahweh Bashem al Shai is strong. But only those that um, uh, truly believe in the name of Yahweh Bashem al Shai and have the gift of faith in Yahweh Bashem al Shai and have that covering, that hedge, they're the only ones that's going to be delivered from this thing. You know? And that dream was that dream was crazy. You know, it was crazy because I actually saw the demons, man. They were like flying. They had them wings just like this, like them bat wings. And they were brown and gray. I mean, uh, yep, brown and gray. And they were they were coming out and they were moving fast and they were streaking, you know. I could have had a bad fish sandwich or something, I don't know. Bad cheesesteak, I don't know. But I, what I do understand and what I do know is that we're living in a time of great wickedness, man. And wickedness on high places. That CERN instrument, okay, that's nothing but wickedness in high places, man. The super elite put their money, power, time and effort and research and to create this thing for what reason to 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 bring more wickedness and evil on this earth man you know and and lastly this is uh luke chapter 10 verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven and when i was in that dream state Dumb, dumb demons ain't do nothing to me. Even though we were running, even though I was standing defending, you know, my uh, uh, faith in Yahweh Bashi and was shot, and standing boldly in it, those demons didn't overcome me. And I'm, and I was rejoicing, not because we have that spirit and we have that gift and power, but because Lord willing, we part of the elect. Our names are written in heaven. Meaning that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh know us, and He's dealing with us through His Son, Yahweh Okay, and He's not gonna let us get overcome and overran by this. And in the sight of all of this, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gonna put the spirit on us to rebuke these demons, to cast these demons out, just like He did. Like the Lord said, He said uh, we were gonna do the things that He did in greater. You know, and it's gonna this thing is gonna be live and direct. In the coming times, man. And people aren't going to be able to defend or overcome it with this idolatry that they're infested with. They're not going to be able to overcome it with no money, with no uh, hiding, no hiding spot. The only way you're going to be able to overcome this great obstacle is through your how about and how shot. So I just want to bring this out. I didn't want to make this too long, but it was spiritual, man. And so I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. 
um, double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders of Green Millstone for teaching his word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim. Keep pushing, keep striving. We almost out of here. Eight shalom.